Welcome back. I want to talk about something that's really cool, risk assessment in Azure Defender for IoT. So this is awesome. So this allows you to run a risk assessment report on the environment, on the OT environment. Now, what's interesting is I can import my company's logo, or if maybe I'm a consulting firm, I can import my logo and then hand this as my deliverable back to you if you're my client. So that's kind of cool. Now, when you click on generate report, it, it could take a little bit of time to run. And I've already done this, so I've already opened up the report here, and it just opens up as a PDF. And immediately you're gonna see uh, just some, some nice, you know, beautiful graphics here, and it's gonna kick off with security score. So again, this is representing uh, an overall, you know, 100% percentage of security. And so right now I'm at 59%, meaning my OT environment's about 59% secure. Now I'm sure you'd agree with me, it's almost impossible to get to 100% in the real world. Uh, but this gives me, nonetheless, a, a good gauge here uh, to go by. And so these risk scores are dependent on information that the sensor learns from its packet inspection, from behavioral modeling engines, its understanding of SCADA-specific state machine design, so on and so forth. Now, as I scroll through this, it'll let me know that, hey, you've got 13 vulnerable devices, 12 of those devices are needed improvement, and then you do have five secure devices on the environment. And this gives me kind of a recap here. So check it out, 20 unauthorized devices. You probably wanna go out and take a look at that. One internet connected device. So if my environment's supposed to be air gapped, which many OT environments are, that could be of concern. Um, got some other things here, no EV software detected, that could be of concern, no backup servers detected. Now a quick note on this, the score may be negatively impacted if you do not define backup and antivirus servers in the sensor itself. And I'll do another video later on how to do that. You just go into properties. Uh, but but that, that could impact the overall score here. And so as you go through this, there's just a ton of excellent information, a nice executive summary here calling out, yeah, here's all the devices and the score for each specific device. Now, when you think about the, um, the device scoring here, uh, this this could be extremely interesting, and, and it could give you some next steps and almost a kind of a roadmap on, on where to go next. We'll, we'll come back to that here in a second. Uh, I'll do another video on attack vectors, uh, probably the next video, so stay tuned for that. So you get the idea, just some really good information here, and then it gives you some recommendations on how to mitigate. This is my lab environment, so I don't have a whole lot happening here. Uh, so not a whole lot of mitigation recommendations. And then here's a nice overview. It tells you a little bit about it. Uh, I repeats just everything I just told you. Uh, here's all the different terms you're gonna see throughout the report and the definition of those terms. And then we start to get into top vulnerable devices. This is amazing. So here's a device. It's an OT device made by Siemens. And uh, it's communicating on TCP, TCP port 102. And it looks like it has some unacknowledged alerts. So we probably want to go out there and look at those outstanding alerts. But my favorite part is here's the CVEs that we discovered on that device. And so this could be a next step to go out and, and, and further mitigate it. And you can see that it's, it's impacting the actual score on those devices. Uh, here's, an, here's a VMware device. Maybe it's an ESX server. And so uh, this is something that I discovered. Uh, here's a Windows 10 workstation. This could be maybe a supervisory workstation monitoring a dashboard of those OT devices or the physical machinery. And so again, um, I could see hosting IP address and the CVEs of that. It's a risk assessment. And I can see I have some risk here. Now this is interesting. This will show me, um, and it, it'll also show me you know, the CVEs, but the ports in use. And then again, any unacknowledged alerts. Again, extremely useful. Now, I like this. This is interesting too. Network security risks. So unauthorized devices. So here's all the devices it discovered that either the admin or some kind of human at the organization has not gone in and said, yeah, this is authorized. It's supposed to be on the network. So this could be cause for concern. So you might want to go through and, and double check these. Now, if you just deploy Defender for IoT, this could be a great report to run to help you in tuning the, 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 the device, and or sorry, tuning the solution rather to those devices. And this could be a report maybe you run once a week as part of that tuning effort. Uh, if I have any firewall rules to find, 
that gives me some information about it. Any uh, uh, access points. Hey, here's some malware that it discovered. It discovered the, the Triton malware, and this is coming from Microsoft's threat intelligence feed. And so it discovered some suspicious suspicious malware activity or or suspicion of malicious activity, I should say. We think it might be malware. So you might want to go out and take a look at it on these devices. And maybe I might want to go check the alerts and go back to the event timeline that we talked about in another video um, to, to help in triaging that. Again, IP addresses of networks that it discovered. So this might be useful in understanding, hey, are there any networks that are connected to my OT environment that maybe shouldn't be connected? How much volume of traffic do we see by protocol? So that could be interesting. You know, if we see a lot of FTP traffic, does that mean somebody's trying to export logs or something? Uh, here's some problems we might have discovered with, with those OT protocols. Amazing information and insights here. And again, kind of a checklist of going through and, and mitigating some of these findings so you can maximize that score. So for my consulting uh, folks out there, this could be a great next step to take with your customer. For my IT folks out there, this could be a great roadmap to lay out with your leadership team to say, hey, we need to go out and do these things. So folks, that is the risk assessment report. Really cool stuff. So I challenge you, run this in your environment. See what you find. Okay, stay tuned because in the next video, we're going to talk about my other favorite topic, attack vectors. So stay tuned, take care, and we'll see you all in the next video.